Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. In our previous video, we have explored how ESLint and Prettier can help maintain clean and consistent code. Today, we will introduce you to two powerful tools that can automate code quality checks and help keep your code base clean and consistent. These two tools are Husky and Lint Staged. So let's get started. Let's start by understanding Husky. Husky automates critical code quality checks right before committing, catching errors and maintaining consistent coding styles without the need for manual intervention. It's like a security guard for your code base stationed at critical points in your Git workflow. So now let's start installing Husky. I'm going to install Husky in the previous project which we have created in the ESLint and Prettier tutorial. Here we have source index.js with this very basic example code and in the package.json you can see we have ESLint and Prettier configured. So now let's start installing Husky. Before installing Husky, make sure you have initialized Git in your project. So here I'll say git init and git add git commit. Let's say commit message is initial. Now git is ready in the project. So let's start installing Husky. So npm install husky save dev. It is installed. Next, we need to initialize the husky pre-commit script using command npx husky init is done. It will create dot husky pre-commit file. Let's see this in the editor. Here we have dot husky pre-commit file. It looks like this. In this file, we can define custom scripts or set of commands that you want to execute before every commit. This script can include tasks like running code linter, for example, eslint, formatting code like prettier, or performing any other pre-commit checks. Here we have example command npm test. In this project, we do not have this command, so let's remove it. And here I'll add npm run lint. We have added this command in the package.json, this one in the previous video of ESLint and Prettier tutorial. Now, before each commit, Husky will execute this command and it will run ESLint to check the JavaScript files for any error. If it finds an error, the commit will be blocked, preventing the inclusion of code that doesn't meet your defined standards. Let's test this. So for that, in the index.js, here I'll set double equal to, and now we have eslint error, expected triple equal to. So let's commit this in the terminal, git add and git commit Let's say message husky test. Now you can see husky has executed this eslint command to check the errors in the JavaScript file. The commit is blocked because eslint found error in the index.js. How cool is that? By using husky, you ensure that code quality checks are performed in your code base. Now let's fix this error and commit. So let's set this triple equal to and now git add and git commit husky test. And this time it did not find any error and the commit is successful. So git status here nothing to commit. Great. Now let's consider another scenario. Suppose we have another file named helper.js. So in the source directory helper.js, 
नेक्स्ट लेट्स एड सम एग्जाम्पल कोड सो फंक्शन एग्जाम्पल से इट इज गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट एक्स वाई जेड एंड इट्स डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू इज वन नेक्स्ट हेयर वी हैव कंडीशन इफ एक्स वाई जेड इक्वल टू इक्वल टू वन देन डू समथिंग now in this code you can see we have two errors example function is defined but never used and here expected triple equal to next let's make changes in the index.js file right here let's say xyz value is 2 now in terminal let's run npm run lint and here you can see we have two errors in the helper.js and in the index.js we do not have any errors so now let's say we only want to commit index.js so here i'll say get add source index.js now get status we have source index.js state so next let's commit this so git commit let's say commit message is update xyz variable value now commit message is blocked because eslint has checked for errors in all javascript files and it has detected error in the helper.js which we have not staged but eslint should check only errors in the stage files to address this issue we can use lint staged it is a tool that runs code quality checks such as linting and formatting only files that are about to be committed in other words lint staged lets you run checks only on staged files so you are not overwhelmed by checking the entire code base now let's see how to set up lint staged so in the terminal let's run npm install lint staged save dev it is done next in the package.json here we will add a lint staged section let's add this after this script right here lint staged like this in the double quotes we will specify the type of files where we want to execute set of commands in our case we want to run eslint on all javascript files so here i'll say star dot js if you want to run on multiple extensions so here we can specify in curly brackets js comma ts comma jsx like that multiple files extensions and next we will assign an array and in this array we will specify set of commands in this case here we want to run eslint now remember that you want to run eslint for only staged file so do not specify dot or src path where you want to run eslint if you specify the path it will run for all kind of files because we want to run for staged file so let's remove it our final step is in the husky pre commit file here we will change this command and run npx lint staged now everything is done it's time to test this so let's try commit in the terminal so get status we have index.js staged so git commit and commit message is update xyz variable value now this time it has executed the eslint for only staged file index.js and did not find any error so commit is successful now let's try to commit helper.js so git add source helper.js and git commit add helper.js
Now here you can see it executed the ESLint for one file. In the helper.js it found error. So commit is blocked. How cool is that? So let's fix this error and then commit. So here let's set triple equal to and call this example function. Now all the errors are fixed. So next get add source helper.js and then git commit at helper.js now it did not find any error and commit is successful in the package.json similar like that you can add multiple commands for example let's add this prettier to format files and of course we need to remove this like that so prettier will be executed for these files if you want to execute it for all kind of files then we can say star which will execute for all kind of files and then so let's remove it from here and paste it here so eslint will be executed for these files and prettier will be executed for all kind of files next in the helper.js let's say xyz default value is 10 and and couple of enters to make it bad formatting and save it without format now let's commit this so git add source helper.js and git commit update value of xyz in helper.js great commit is successful and in the helper.js you can see it has auto corrected the formatting how cool is that sometimes you may not want to run husky pre commit so for that you can use git flag no verify in your commit command to ignore any pre commit script and commit directly to git so let's say in the helper.js let's set this to double equal to and here we have eslint error so if we try to commit this helper.js the husky will block it let's see so git add source helper.js and git commit let's say test as expected the commit is blocked because of this error now we do not want to run husky pre-commit in that case we can run git commit test and then we will pass git flag no verify and immediately commit is successful the husky pre-commit was not executed of course i will not recommend this because our every commit should be according to our project's standard and also make sure to commit this dot husky directly to share this setup with your team by using husky and lint stage you can enhance the overall quality and consistency of your code base so this is all in this lesson if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with more coding tips and tutorials thank you for watching happy coding mm -hmm.